It's time now for Countywide, a special presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. Join Paul David and Kyle Benedict as they talk with our community's leaders, newsmakers, and people in the know. You'll hear about the hot topics that affect all our lives in Yavapai County. And now here's today's Countywide. Welcome to Countywide. I'm Kyle Benedict. Today we're talking about Kids Against Hunger and uh, Director of Kids Against Hunger here in the Verde Valley, Karen Freeman, is joining me today to talk about an event that they have, a uh, community packing event. It's the second annual community packing event. That's coming up on October 3rd, so we're going to talk about that, talk about just the organization in general and uh, some of the great things that they are doing here locally as well as uh, in other parts of the world. So Karen, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kids Against Hunger, how did you get involved, and can you tell me a little bit about Kids Against Hunger? Okay, in uh, 2010, there was a horrific earthquake in Haiti, and my friend Kim Gould, um, uh, we're both medical people, uh, she invited me to go with her, and we went on a medical mission trip, so to speak, and uh, just my first experience with utter poverty, devastation, there were mothers scraping dirt up off the ground, making them into dirt cookies and baking them in the sun and that's what they were feeding their children. Um, they just had no food to eat, hundreds of thousands of orphans and starvation. So we uh, came back from there and just looked at each other and went, what can we do? What can one person do? You know, you kind of those mm -hmm. things, the need yeah. is so great. But um, the doors were opened and we uh, spent that next year pursuing uh, the national organization Kids Against Hunger and with help from some of the churches in town helped us raise the money. We became uh, officially Kids Against Hunger food packing satellite in 2011, so part of the national organization. And what we do is we organize people to come together in an assembly line type fashion and pack food for the hungry. Hmm. So when we first started, um, our goal, of course, at that time, 15% uh, of the food stayed here locally, and then we shipped 85% to, to Haiti. So since our inception, then, we've done over 875,000 meals, and we've shifted our focus to include local distribution, but that's kind of what we do, and that's how we got started. And we, we um, as the food is shipped to Haiti, we return there every year to help oversee that distribution with our people on the ground there, so. So now, yeah. local satellites in other parts of the uh, country under Kids Against Hunger, yes. do they also support Haiti, or is it kind of different? Is it Some of them the do, satellite? it's up to the individual satellite. They get to choose where, what part of the mm -hmm. world they want to minister to, and locally too, so yeah, we just, our hearts began in Haiti and are still there, and so mm -hmm. that's one of the, the main places that we do. We've helped other countries uh, for disaster relief, but Haiti's our place. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so since 2010, and it just seems like, I mean, a great website, we'll be talking about it here, is kahverdevalley.com. That's also where you can go to uh, sign up for the event on October 3rd. Mm -hmm. um, talking about that event coming mm -hmm. up here right around the corner, um, what is it and where is it gonna be? Okay, it's at the Verde Valley Fairgrounds, and um, it's a Saturday, and we have three packing sessions, and you can register online, uh, 8 to 10.30, 11 to 1.30, and 2 to 4.30. And um, it's about a two and a half hour experience. It includes registration, some training, and then uh, we get you over, you pack for about an hour and a half, uh, 11 people to a table. So some people pack as groups or as individuals. We just uh, join you up with others. And it's an awesome, fun thing to do. Anybody from, you have to be nine years old, at least nine, nine to 90. So, uh, we are Kids Against Hunger, mm -hmm. so kids and seniors are our best packers. So if you can stand for about an hour and a half, and sometimes we can find some sitting positions also, you pack, you help us clean up the table, out you go, <laughs> and we bring in the next group. So really, um, in order to do that, you just need to sign up online and, and uh, we'll be happy to have you and we'll take it from there. Now, how many meals are you hoping to pack on October? A quarter of a million wow. in one day. We did it last year, we okay. can do it this year, but we need 690 packing volunteers to do that, okay. to cover the day. So that's a lot of people, but we believe we can do it and uh, this is just helping me get the word out, so I really appreciate it. So now you mentioned locally and then you also over uh, uh, in other parts of the world, mm -hmm. but also, uh, I guess, mostly in Haiti. Yeah. Um, what do you do when once 
how does the process work? You get these meals packed, mm -hmm. and then when you ship them overseas yeah. to Haiti, how, yeah. what, what's that process from the time they get packed here in the Virgin yeah. Valley to the time they arrive in Haiti? Okay, well, they sit in our warehouse. Our mm -hmm. church donated us a, a great warehouse, on, and so um, it sits there, and we um, decide what percentage is going to go. And we, the uh, really cool thing for people to know is that the military flies our food over to Haiti for free. Oh. So um, we have to get it to Sky Harbor. It goes out of there. So we go through the application process and it has to be inspected and paperwork, you know, because it's the government. Uh -huh. And then uh, we receive the high sign when they're ready, when they have a C-17 that's ready to go. We uh, drive it on down to Phoenix. They pick it up and they use it for training uh, the military how to pack and unpack uh, cargo planes. And then it goes out of South Carolina over to Haiti, is received by our organization, our, rec our receiving group over at the airport there. They truck it on up to, to where about four and a half hours, up to Go Naives and Jubilee is the name of the little village that we support, a little village on the dump up there. So that's how it gets there. And then um, when we first started, um, I think I, I said 15% of the food stayed locally and we sent 85% there. But we've realized in the last five years that there is a need here at home. And there's some, been some really cool things happening in Haiti too. But um, so as the need, as we've realized the need here, we keep, now we're, we're keeping over 50% back for local distribution. Yeah. And we've joined with a group called the Avapai Food Council, which is a nonprofit in Sedona that um, is our distributor of our foods throughout Yavapai County. We do it in Cottonwood, but they do it to over 40 food banks, schools, senior uh, meal programs, uh, um, all, all kinds of vets, uh, we'd, anybody that needs it locally. So they come and pick it up, they distribute it, and then we, we contact local folks here and they come to the warehouse and pick it up. So that's so, how it happens. So with more of a focus now um, than say when you first got started, more of a focus here locally, does mm -hmm. that mean things are getting better, better over there in Haiti? They are. It's really awesome to be part of a work that that you, you've you seen change. So in since 2011, when we really started doing this, we've been able to assist in, they've built a school and there's over 110 kids and they're raising up uh, Haitian teachers. We've helped build a medical clinic and uh, uh, with a solar generator on top, and they're raising up Haitian healthcare workers. Um, we've uh, they've dug a well for the village. They've planted a garden, and the really cool thing is they um, have started a trade school called Second Story Goods, and you can actually go online and purchase some of those goods. People are taking um, local artisans, they're training them up, and we, we even sent over a treadle sewing machine, and they're, they're teaching them how to, how to make things, or they already know how to make things, and then they're marketing them for them locally, and then on, online, so, and the, all that money dir goes directly back to the artisan, so, um, so that's all really cool stuff. The really wow. cool thing for us is they've started to um, uh, grow their own rice, so we've backed away with the amount of food, the packaged food that we're sending, and we've started sending some of our bulk food, not the rice, and giving them packing supplies, minus the electrical stuff, uh -huh. <laughs> doing it in baggies, and they're packing their own, using their own um, rice, and I think this year we're gonna back away from sending the dehydrated veggies, which is part of our bags that we pack, because they're growing mangoes and avocados. So if, if the wow. country can stay away from having another natural disaster. So we've moved from rescue to sustainability, and we, we've been part of that process. And, and I think, you know, the old teach a man to fish, uh -huh. I, 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 we're a part of that, and I think that's real, and, and the community's been part of that, because we're, we couldn't have done any of this without all the volunteers, and it's the volunteers that really have made a difference and helped us to do this here and there. So. Great. Well, I mean, it's just it's more than just providing food, it sounds like, that you guys do. So, I mean, that's really great. It is. Well, we're going to take our first break, sitting down with uh, Karen Freeman. She's the director of the Kids Against Hunger here in the Verde Valley, talking about their upcoming event. They have a uh, website where you can sign up, kahverdevalley.com. This is Countywide. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, 
Because when I grow up, I want to be a cook too. We have the same faces like this. Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat? One in five children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Orkin has pest control down to a science. When your business chooses Orkin's Precision Protection Program, you get a tailored pest control program for your specific industry and environment. Your business can benefit from over a century of experience, training, and scientific knowledge that define the Orkin man. Maximum protection, minimum exposure, backed by one of the industry's most comprehensive guarantees. Choose your locally owned and operated Northern Arizona Orkin and get more than an exterminator. Get an expert. That is a pretty good breakfast. You're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Uh, Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Welcome back to Countywide. I'm Kyle Benedict, sitting down with Karen Freeman. She's the director of Kids Against Hunger here in the Verde Valley. Uh, real quick, a good phone number for any questions that you may have or st uh, for things that we aren't covering today or maybe we're not clarifying it for you is 928 649 5772. Um, again, the website where you can go to sign up for their community packing event on October 3rd is kahverdevalley.com. Um, kahverdevalley.com. Okay, Karen, so. We talked uh, about Haiti and some mm -hmm. of the work you guys are doing over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still amazed. It's much more than just providing food yes. for them, which is which is great. So you know that um, with donations, you're it's a lot of things are being taken care of there. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess when you're kind of comparing uh, what you send over to Haiti versus what the food that's provided here locally, what's mm -hmm. the difference? Well, we're <clears throat> actually um, just to complicate things on on packing day. Uh, we're packing two different kinds of food. So um, the food that we send international is rice-based because that's recognized and um, it, it has to be boiled with water for 20 minutes, you know, so to kill any of the, most of the third world countries, the water isn't great. So we have to um, have that kind of a product. And um, so that's our KAH international rice product, which is really yummy and we did it, we provided that locally here for a long time, but this year, is the our actually our um, our group our packing event is the launch for the national organization's new Latin rice and beans pro bean product. Hmm. So they're coming. We have reps from Conagra who developed the food and. They're coming to the event, um, which is kind of scary for me, but um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, and, and this is gonna be the launch. And so we're gonna be packing it in one session. We're gonna have 10 tables packing the national product. And on the other half of the room, 10 tables are packing the Latin rice and bean product. And so we're gonna do that each time. And each session packs about 83,000 meals, hopefully, if we can get volunteers. That's one of the reasons mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here today. But um, so there's a difference in the, in the type of food that and the shelf life um, and just the type and we think the Latin rice and beans is a perfect fit for this community mm -hmm. so um, anyway and I hear it's really yummy it sounds like yeah Latin yeah inspired. it sounds wow. good yeah <laughs> so now is there a big need uh, are, are there a lot of malnourished children here in Yapai County there, there is a lot of mal malnourished and I, there isn't starving kids uh -huh. here but there's a lot of what's called food deserts 
and uh, families just don't have the, the funds to be able to buy the kind of food that's nutritional. They're both working, they're buying fast food, chip type stuff, which is cheaper instead of being able to afford fresh fruits and vegetables, that kind of thing. So kids are coming to school without breakfast. Uh, they're maybe on the lunch program if they're lucky, um, and sometimes they don't even have parents at home when they're getting home. So there's a lot of malnourishment here in Yavapai County, and uh, just just a great need, hunger. So hunger, hunger and malnourishment. I think is very high well, in the yeah. Avapai County. Right now for our TV viewers, you can see up there we have a map uh, grouped by zip code, percentage of malnourished children in uh, child care and school combined. Uh, Cottonwood kind of looks like it's leading the way, unfortunately, with 247. So, I mean, it just looks like looking across the board, there is a need and, and something that, you know, I'm sure education is a big part of what mm -hmm. you guys do as well, just to kind of get it out there that, hey, you know, this yep. is, you don't have to be a third world country to have mm -hmm. malnourished children. Mm -hmm. That's true, and I, and I would love to, I don't know if this ever can happen, but going forward, I mean, we are kids against hunger. Uh -huh. So if I had folks to help me, I would love to develop a, um, this is just kind of in the back of my mind, like a field trip opportunity for kids to actually come to our building, teach them about hunger in the world, and you know, been there, go to Haiti, use that as an example, show them the dirt cookies, mm -hmm. um, hunger in America, of which it is, and hunger right here at home in Arizona and Yavapai County. And then, so teach them about that, maybe combine them with the SNAP program. I got a gal who would come and teach about maybe some nutritional aspect of it, and then give them a, a small opportunity to pack, a hands-on opportunity, show kids you can do something, you can make a difference, and even send them back to their schools with the food, and if there was an opportunity, they could actually bring it to the food bank wow. themselves. And it's just a, we have so much here in America. We are we are so blessed. We, so many of us, I mean, we have more food to eat than we have, than we need, clothes to wear, homes to live in, and and we are a blessed people. And it's a privilege to be involved in this. And, and it, it's an opportunity to re, remind others uh, that, of how blessed we are and that there's something they can do for the people that aren't, and especially kids, because yeah. we're kids against hunger. Now, you mentioned you guys uh, rely a lot on volunteers. Yes. And you're, of course, here to talk about and hopefully to get some volunteers out there for the event in yeah. October. Um, what are some things, in addition to packing at these community events, like the one coming up on the 3rd, uh, what are some other things that volunteers do? Okay, well, um, <clears throat> we, I actually, we're, we're looking for people to help us as an organization. Um, I'm looking for people to help me in the warehouse. Um, I'm looking for people to help uh, even just promotion to, to get the word out and let us know what we can do. Um, you know, social media is huge. For anybody that's listening to this, if you have an opportunity on social media to get this event out, we need um, we need 690 volunteers to come pack on that day. And so we have packing volunteers, and we also have service volunteers. So if you feel like even for this event that you don't want to come and pack food, we need guys to fill bins. We need the product, you know, the box has got to be taped and moved. So um, we have a volunteer coordinator, and uh, her name is Gwen Keelblock, and um, they could get a hold of her at, at uh, G Keelblock, K I E L B L O C K, at gmail.com if you want to volunteer for that event. Otherwise, just get a hold of us on our, on our website site or uh, K-A-H Verde Valley at Gmail. That's our personal Gmail if you're interested in becoming part of the organization. So there's always plenty of work to do. And now people can go on to kahverdevalley.com to, that's where they sign up for this event? They sign up for the event either as a packing volunteer or a service volunteer, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, we gotta take our second break. When we come back, we'll talk about the uh, donations and kind of what donations go towards uh, to help out Kids Against Hunger. But that's coming up here on Countywide again. Uh, kahverdevalley.com, phone number 928-649-5. 772. This is Connie Wide. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Orkin has pest control down to a science. When your business chooses Orkin's Precision Protection Program, you get a tailored pest control program for your specific industry and environment. Your business can benefit from over a century of experience, training, and scientific knowledge that define the Orkin man. Maximum protection, minimum exposure, backed by one of the industry's most comprehensive guarantees. Choose your locally owned and operated Northern Arizona Orkin and get more than an exterminator, get an expert. 
you wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Kids will spend 15 minutes watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Welcome back to Countywide. Uh, joined, I'm Kyle Benedict, joined with Karen Freeman from Kids Against Hunger. She's the director of Kids Against Hunger here in the Verde Valley. So we talked about uh, volunteers, and you guys, I imagine, are always looking for volunteers, correct? Absolutely. We um, just, I, I want to put out a few kudos uh, f about volunteers, but we desperately need volunteers. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without the volunteers. And um, when we first started, we didn't have a building. So Verde Valley Medical Center allowed us to store all our food there and hold packing events there for two years, which wow. was really cool. They're, all their, uh, the guys that work there help us get our food in and out. And so that, that the community needs to hear that, that there's been organizations that have really helped us. So kudos to them. And the other uh, uh, volunteer group that I'd, that I'd like to give kudos to is our firemen. Cornville Fire, uh, Verde Valley Fire, which is Cornville and in, in the and Verde Valley Fire and Cottonwood Fire Departments. And those firemen have been there for all our events. Anytime we call them when they're not saving lives, they're helping us haul food here and haul food there. So that's really a great thing. But mm. um, yes, volunteers are key. We need you. And um, we this event is, uh, we're asking for donations. Um, the the cost of the bulk food is it's costly. It has to be shipped here from Omaha, which is the the national uh, company, and shipping is costly. So we're asking we're not requiring any um, money to pack, but we're desperately in need of donations because we spend all we have to put this event on. And going forward, when we do events, if anybody's interested, we have to ask for twenty five cents a meal. Mm -hmm. So just to cover our costs, that's all it is, and then to pay it to, to get it to Phoenix and then to Haiti also. So, um, but de desperate in need of volunteers, we couldn't do it without. And we're and and the cool thing, um, one of the really great things that's happened this year, your donations, um, we got qualified for the Arizona tax credit, and we are a 501c3, so you're you can. Um, uh, you allows do donors to claim a tax credit for the donations okay. that you give. So that's really awesome. Yeah. So anyway, we need donations. We def <laughs> desperate and volunteers. Okay. Well, to recap real quick before we uh, head out, October third is the community packing event. Um, it's at the Verde Valley, Verde Valley Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. Yeah. And then what time? Uh, Eight to ten thirty is first session. Uh, Eleven thirty. Eleven to one thirty and two to four thirty. Hmm. Three sessions. Okay, great. Well, hopefully we have a great turnout there. Again, to sign up for that event, uh, you can go to kahverdevalley.com. Uh, for more questions about Kids Against Hunger, just kind of general questions, you can call 928-649-5772. Again, October 3rd. Hopefully you guys get a great turnout. Yes. Thank you so much for coming today. That's right. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, that's going to do it for Countywide today. I'm Kyle Benedict, and we'll see you guys next time.
Jesus said, it's done. 